What in the fuck is up, y'all? It's your boy Winston motherfucking Wolf, and I'm back. I'm back like herpes. You can't get rid of me, motherfucker. I'm for life. You can try to burn me off of the lit cigarette, but I'll still keep coming back. Hold on, let me get comfortable real quick. Yeah, I'm in bed. Because you know I Because I like you like that. I, li I like you like that, that, I, that we could chill in bed together. I like spending time with you. Hope you like spending time with me. But anyways... I want to talk uh, real quick about a movie that I finally got around to seeing. It's called Train to Busan. Now, I've been seems like I've been hearing about this movie for years. I don't think it's been out for years. Maybe two or three. But I've been hearing about it for a while. I finally got around to watching it. First of all, I think the reason a lot of people, uh, Americans, I say, haven't really, haven't really watched it is probably because if they've come across it and they've seen that it has subtitles... They don't want to go through the trouble of reading it or that. That or they can barely fucking read because if they're American, you know they went to a public school and you know if they went to an American public school, they can barely read beyond the kindergarten level. So anything with subtitles automatically turns off the majority of Americans. Uh, second of all, I, again, I'm not sure if it's on Netflix or anything, but it's kind of like you have to seek it out that's i had to seek it out because i don't have netflix i watch everything on fucking bootleg because there's no shame in my game i steal that will motherfucker and i'm a cinephile and don't get that it's a seek don't get a convi that means you fucking love movies because when you put file on the end of anything automatically people think you're a fucking kid toucher no 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 cinephile you're into movies you ain't fucking touching kids, so let's just, let's fucking get that right, right away. But anyways, yo, Train to Busan, probably one of the most fucking, I won't say overhyped because it's a foreign movie, but if, you, if you're in the movies and you, you know, you fucking, uh, you frequent certain sites or certain fucking message boards where people are recommending movies, this movie was hyped up like, oh my God, Train to Busan, Train to Busan. And then all of a sudden, uh, lately everyone's been hyping up the fucking sequel. It's Train to Busan, uh, Pencil Peninsula, or The Pen the Peninsula. Fuck, I can't even fucking say it. I live in Michigan and we have a fucking peninsula. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, or we are a peninsula, or we have two peninsulas. I don't fucking know. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Is the Mitten and the, and the UP, are those two peninsulas? Or, I don't fucking know. Who gives a fuck? Michigan fucking sucks. I hate this fucking place. It's shaped like a fucking mitten. For fuck's sake. So anyways, um... Train to Busan. Yo, overhyped. Uh, it's basically about this motherfucker that's a fucking... He's not a Debbie dad. He's just a fucking negligent dad. He just gives a fuck about his business and shit. And he has a daughter. And his daughter wants to go back to stay with the fucking mom. And she's just bitching and bitch. She's like, I want to go see mommy. I want to go see mommy. He's like, all right, y'all, I'll put you on the fucking train. And she's like, yo, will you ride with me? Just, you know, so we can spend time together. And so he's like, all right, fuck, I'll ride with you the train and go drop you off to your mom. And they get on the train. Fucking unbeknownst to them, there was like a chemical leak. And it caused a bunch of motherfuckers to turn into fucking zombies and shit. So, of course, somebody on the fucking train gets fucking, uh, gets fucking bit or infected and then they're stuck on the fucking train so there's just a bunch of fucking zombies and shit and then they realize they can't fucking stop anywhere at any of the stops because those are all fucking just hordes of zombies and shit because uh the conductor and other people they get like messages on the radio and shit like that and on their phone saying they're like yo you can't stop or don't stop because if you stop here you're fucked for sure you're lucky to be alive so pretty much it is like the scene from World War Z, where the motherfuckers on the plane start turning. So imagine just that scene extended to fucking two hours. That's fucking pretty much, with, you know, a couple of variations where they stop at some places they shouldn't stop at. They get off. Of course, there's zombies there. A bunch of fucking fuckery ensues. They got to jump back on the fucking train. Keep going. So... As, as the title suggests, they're trying to get to Busan. Because apparently Busan is still fucking... It's... You know, they, they, they still have maintained control. You can still get a fucking train there. It hasn't been overrun by zombies. Every other place, though, they're telling me, like, do not stop here, motherfucker. Do not stop. But 
that's pretty much it. You could tell somebody saw World War Z. The fucking director or the producers or the writers. I don't know who the fuck is responsible for this shit. But you could tell somebody saw that scene from World War Z on the plane. And they saw Snowpiercer. And they, they were like, yo, let's combine these two. It's like fucking Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. You take the chocolate. You take the peanut butter. You combine it. I'm telling you. This is gold. It's like peanut butter and jelly. It's like Batman and Robin. You know what I'm saying? Fucking nah, dude. You can't just... And the reason I think this this might have worked with somebody that was a fucking master of the craft that could turn fucking chicken, chicken shit into chicken salad or a chicken salad into chicken shit, which I would still be impressed. I would probably be more impressed if somebody turned chicken salad into chicken shit. That'd be some goddamn sorcery to the next fucking level. But I would be more surprised by that than fucking what i don't know what the fuck i just fucking lost it for a second but anyways training busan chicken shit um don't waste your fucking time it's a movie that's good for i don't know if it's a fucking korean movie or whatever but it, it can't be a movie from japan because they, they know what the fuck they're doing there's certain countries they just know what the fuck they're doing they've they figured it out a long time ago the the u.s japan England to some extent, even though they still put out a lot of fucking boring ass shit. Um, there's a few other countries that have they fucking figured it out. They figured it out. But there's other countries you could tell they're still in their infancy. They 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 still don't get it. They they're you know what I'm saying? So it's good for them. Where it's a doable movie for us, it's it's passable, it's fucking it's fucking serviceable, but it's not you're just like okay. I mean, you know, you did it. You got it done. Okay, we got to give you credit for that. But as far as anything compared to what we got, nah, man. Like, fucking, yo. Any of the fucking Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, the Dawn of the Dead remake. Fucking 28 Days Later, which is a fucking British film. 28 Weeks Later is even fucking better than this shit. Um, fuck. Dude, I put Eva Walking Dead, the fucking dumpster fire that is The Walking Dead at this point. I put that above Train to Busan. It's not a fu- It's. Yo, anybody that sucks this movie's dick, they do not know what they're talking about. Tell them to shut the fuck up. Be like, yo, I haven't even seen this movie. Shut the fuck up. Because I was on YouTube and I saw some fucking whacked out motherfucker with a wolf mask talking shit about this movie. And even though you're my friend and I know you and I don't know this motherfucker, I believe this motherfucker. So shut your motherfucking mouth, friend of many years, because I believe this fucking fuckface in a wolf mask on YouTube dogging this movie out. And you know what? I appreciate you for doing that. From the bottom of my motherfucking mutt heart, I fucking appreciate you, homeboy. So... If you have the chance to watch Train to Busan, uh, don't do it. Watch something else. There's plenty of other shit you could be watching. Um, I don't know. I was just going to name some shit, but I just totally came with a blink. It's late as fuck. It's three something in the fucking morning. I shouldn't be up. Cause, but you know what I'm saying? But I'm up right now in bed with you. So kind of blame yourself right now for you keeping me up this fucking late. With your goddamn bullshit. Fucking selfish ass motherfucker. Anyways, Train to Busan, pass on it. It's fucking overrated. Hopefully, Train to Busan Peninsula has at least some titties in it. Because there were no titties in Train to Busan. And there was a couple little cute Asian honeys in that shit. I did not see one tiny pink nipple in that whole motherfucking movie. So, yeah, Train to Busan, I'm a fucking dog bone rating. I give it a. and a half and that's being generous this your boy winston motherfucking wolf i'm out